Highway 22 in the north cuts through some spectacular car scenery. After TJ Ranch we headed to the north coast near Barceloneta and some wetlands at Caño Tiburones Nature Reserve to try for the elusive yellow-breasted crake. This was unsuccessful, however we did find some interesting birds such as the introduced orange-cheeked waxbill, originally from Africa. Bronze mannequins, another introduced African species, were also present. At some small pools further west were three northern rough-winged swallows, which are considered a rare migrant in Puerto Rico. Perhaps they have been overlooked in the past in mixed flocks of swallows. One of the marshy pools held a couple of male mast ducks. They like sites with lots of emergent vegetation in which to hide. Mast ducks occur throughout the Caribbean, Mexico, Central and South America, but apparently nowhere common. Back at Canyon Tiburones was a family of Indian mongoose. It is often said that these animals were introduced to the Caribbean region to control snakes in sugarcane plantations, but whatever their origin, they are now significant predators of native species. The Bosque de Cambalache is an area of moist forest on limestone. It is said to be good for quail doves, but perhaps they are less active in the middle of the day. There are just five species of toady, and they are restricted to the Caribbean. One each on Jamaica, Cuba and Puerto Rico, and two species on Hispaniola. There, the broad build is predominantly found at lower elevations and the narrow build above 600 meters. At Cedra, there is a well-known school baseball field where plain pigeons can be found in the trees bordering the field. It did not take long to spot one. We also got close views of a cooperative pearly-eyed thrasher. This is a Caribbean specialty which is only found from the Bahamas and Puerto Rico east and south through the Lesser Antilles. Surprisingly, it also occurs on one island off the south coast of Dominican Republic. In the Carite State Forest we were back in higher elevation habitat. Here we got our best views of the endemic Puerto Rican bullfinch.
At this spot we also watched by an unusual clump of mistletoe in hopes of seeing the Antillia euphonia. A couple of distant calls were heard, they did not show and we were soon out of time. Down in the nearby village are specialised pork restaurants. Of course we had to sample the roast pig and fried rice. Along the way a pair of monk parakeets, yet another introduced species. There are many exotic parrot and parakeet species now breeding in the wild in Puerto Rico. In fact there are so many introduced species the whole island might be considered as an unplanned experiment in progress. Then it was time to drop down from the hills and head for the Humaco wetlands on the east coast. Fajardo would be our last stop. Better views of a pair of Caribbean coots. Note how the white shield comes up over the eye in these birds. A mangrove cuckoo, now seen well in daylight. This is the place to tick off the Antillian crested hummingbird and green-throated carib. Both often come to flowers just outside the hotel lobby. Several times an Antillian crested hummingbird came to feed at the flowers. no sign of the green-throated carib. In fact, the carib was perched high up in some trees nearby, staying close to another food source. It prefers tiny termites over nectar. In total we found 15 out of the 17 endemics in Puerto Rico, not counting the Puerto Rican screech owl which was heard only, and missing the green mango. Birding was easy in Puerto Rico. All the nature reserves are well maintained and safe. There is good accommodation, food, roads and friendly people. Driving and birding on your own is certainly a viable option here. Shall we start packing or want to yeah. wait?